Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm joined by Chris Spencer, Tamworth's new centre mid. Uh, welcome to Tamworth, uh, that's from Lambs Media. So, you've recently played for Sutton Coalfield, um, Barwell and yeah. multiple other clubs in the local area. Um, and Take us through how you got to that point and where football started for you. So, um, in my early years, probably from age 8 to about 16, I was at Nottingham Forest. Um, from Nottingham Forest, went to Mansfield, signed a two-year scholarship, done my two-year scholarship, was offered a year pro after that. Um, done my year pro, was sent out on loan a lot, so I went to, went to Baseford on loan, I went to Carlton on loan, Hensford on loan, Barwell on loan. It got to the end of the pro, um, at the time the manager was Adam Murray, he wanted a different style of centre mid. Um, so wasn't offered an extension on that pro, so went to sign for Barwell. Spent the majority of last season, start of last season at Barwell before I went to Sutton Coalfield because it was more local to me, I'm from Birmingham. Um, and then yeah, now I'm here. So why make that move then? Why come from Sutton Coalfield to Tamworth? So Andy, um, I knew Andy from Nottingham, I used to live in Nottingham until 2017 when I moved to Birmingham so I knew Andy from I first came to England because I was born in Jamaica so first came to wow. England knew Andy he's watched me grow he's the one that sent me to Forest in the first place so um, had a good relationship with Andy he gave me a call said oh I've got the time with job he was saying come down come down I was saying you know what that level I'm not fit enough to be playing at that level yet Andy but he's, he's pestering me he's pestering me so I thought all right let me get myself in the gym get myself up to that standard Came in for a few training sessions the week after, signed me on, and then I, I played in the last five or six games of the season, um, whether that's off, off the bench or starting. Um, but yeah, my decision to come to Tamworth, obviously, it's a great club, they've got great ambitions, I'm great like friends with the manager as well, so it's just a good point to like, kickstart my career, to be fair, and that's yeah, why I chose Tamworth. That's a really good story, actually, yeah, that, yeah. thinking about that, you know, you know. Andrew pretty much all your life yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, that's, much, yeah. that's really nice. So I'm sure the fans at home are probably thinking they've not really seen much of you pre-season yeah, so no. far, you've, we believe you've had a bit of an injury, do you want to talk us through that, how that's going and yeah, when we can so expect to see you on the pitch? About two weeks before the first game of pre-season, obviously everyone's pumped, everyone's trying to work hard in training, I've gone, um, took it past, um, I think it was Clement, I took it past Clemo in centre mid, about to take a shot, Magunda's come to close me down, so I'm panicking, I'm going to try to take the shot quickly, so I pulled my leg back, pop, I felt a pop, it was a sudden pain, I thought, oh, nothing of it, I went to go sit out, and I went for a scan, and now the scan is saying, it's a, it's a, it's a third degree or stage three tear in my groin, so right. I tore a ligament in my groin, they're saying it could take months and so on, so at that time, obviously, I'm, I'm devastated, yeah. been trying to force a return quicker than possible, but it's just not yeah. working for me. Every time I try, it will, the pain will come back. So they're saying literally just ice and rest. So for the whole of pre-season, I haven't played. It's just a matter of resting and icing until yeah. I'm back. So it, yeah. there's no really way of knowing how long it's going to take. It's just a nah, case of nah. waiting it out. But yeah, pretty much. I'm yeah. sure fans have certainly got something to look forward to when they do see you on yeah, the pitch. Um, yeah. what, what are your strengths as a player when you are fit then? So as a midfielder, I'll bring pace, I'll bring strength. Definitely be box to box. I'll be putting tackles in. I can chip in with a few goals as well. I've got got a bit of my locker. Um, consistent passing. I don't I don't lose the ball much. I don't think anyway. Um, just all round team player. I like to make sure the players around me are pumped up. They know what they need to do and so on. So giving instructions to all the players and obviously I'm, I like to follow instructions as well. So Bez, he's one of the ones I look up to. He talks to you a lot while we're playing and so on. So learning off that more experienced players, your Bezers, your Magundas, yeah. your Tyrell Waits and so on, just try and better my game, to be honest. No, fair enough. So, based on this squad, you've mentioned some names in there, Wade, Bez, uh, Magunda. Do you think we've got what it takes to win the league this season? Most definitely, no doubt. Most definitely. I feel like we're either going to be top three or we're going to take it all and get promoted at the top, to be fair. Yeah, definitely. So what, what, What's that based on? For Just you? It's, uh, I see that there's so much in this team. There's pace. There's strength. There's leaders. There's ability. Just 
vulnerability between everybody. Everyone got technique. Everyone can make a pass. Everyone can run. I feel like we're going to be a massive threat this season, especially with our top three as well. They've got pace to burn. And defenders in this league, no disrespect, are not the fastest. Do you know what I mean? They're probably not the fittest as well. The, the fitness work we do with training, I feel like we will be a lot fitter than teams, a lot stronger, a lot faster, and a lot more hungry as well because we do a lot of analysis, we do a lot of research, we make sure we're ready for the game. So I feel like there's not anything stopping us apart from ourselves this season for taking it all, to be honest. This is good to know. Um, do you have any match day superstitions before the game, before you play? Have you got anything that, that you like to do? Saturday morning, first thing I'll do probably set my alarm for about 10 to 9. I'll go for a morning walk just around the block just to get some fresh air and that clear my mind and so on at 9 o'clock. Do that for about 15, 20 minutes, come in. First thing I'll have is a banana. I like to start my morning off with a banana, obviously then a breakfast. I'm not too fussy about what I have for breakfast, obviously something that's going to give me energy for the game and so on. Um, in, this, in regards to superstition, not nothing I'll do in regards to what sock I'll put on first or nothing like that. Just literally making sure I have to go for that morning walk to make sure my mind's clear yeah. and set on the game. Yeah, yeah I think, I'm not sure, you're not the, you're not the first to say that actually. Yeah. Um, I think someone else definitely takes themselves on a bit of a walk actually yeah, before, yeah. Yeah. before a match. So outside of football, mm -hmm. What, what do you get up to, what do you do for a job? And so, full time, I am a trainer, so a service improvement trainer for a company called The Pensions Regulator. Don't know if you've heard of them. Um, company based in Birmingham, so what I do, I just train staff on internal and external business processes. So, whether that's new staff that we're recruiting, whether that's existing staff, any new processes that we've made or come up with or updated, I'll be training the staff on that and just making sure that they understand the new legislation or whatever is yeah. coming to play within the organisation. Interesting actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, family life, what do you get up to day, like, what do you do for fun? For fun? Uh, well, sometimes a bit of fire aside here and there, it's not <laughs> the best. <laughs> it's not the best. <laughs> when you're obviously playing football at this level, but I do take my time when I'm playing. But yeah, I like to get involved with the lads playing five aside. I do a bit of gaming. Not like PC gaming, just your regular FIFAs and probably GTA. Um, I've got a four year old, so I spend a lot of time with him, uh, whether that's after football and he's spending the weekend with me. He lives in Nottingham, so his mum will drive him down on the weekend and I'll bring him back. And he spends two weekends out of the month with my, myself, so a lot of my time is generated around him, FaceTiming him every day and so on. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's just football, really, just getting in the gym, making sure I'm fit, staying on top of my game. and. Yeah, that's it, it really work. Great. So, finally, before we finish, we're on the verge of the season now. Mm -hmm. What do you want to achieve personally this season? This season, I want to be a regular name on the team sheet. Obviously, I haven't played in pre-season, so I understand it's going to be very, very hard to cement my place in that squad, but I feel like I've got the ability, I feel like I've got what it takes to cement a spot in that starting lineup. I want to be a regular name, I want to be known amongst the supporters, I want to be known amongst all the staff. I just want to create a name for myself within the club, I feel like it's such a great club to have a name for yourself and then yeah. obviously if I play well, kick on and try and go to the next level. Yeah. Well, it's been uh, fantastic to talk to you Chris, uh, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, thank you very much. Cheers, cheers boss, thank you.